hand in hallelujah. Today I have come to prophesy to you the grace of Zerubbabel. Somebody say Zerubbabel. I've come to release into someone's life that grace. Let's go into the word of God and see what that grace is. Zechariah chapter 4 from verse 1 to 14. Now the angel who talked with me came and woke me up as a man awaking out of his sleep. And he said, what do you see? And I said, I am looking and there is a lampstand of solid gold with a bowl on the top of it and on the stand seven lamps with seven pipes to the seven lamps two olive trees by it one at the right of the bowl and the other on the left so i answered and spoke to the angel who talked with me saying what are these my lord then the angel who talked with me answered and said do you not know what these are and i said no my lord he answered and said, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, <laughs> not by power, but by the spirit of the Lord, says the Lord of hosts. How can somebody say, who are you? O great mountain before Zerubbabel, you shall become a plain and he shall bring forth the capstone with shouts of grace to it, grace to it. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, the hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of the temple. His hands shall also finish it. Let's take our seats. Hallelujah. I am here to prophesy to somebody that the grace of Zerubbabel shall come upon you but for you to receive the grace of Zerubbabel you need to have an epignosis you need to have a revelation of the life of Zerubbabel Zerubbabel was the governor of the nation of the governor of Jerusalem and he was the governor of Jerusalem after King Cyrus had issued a decree that uh, they, the captives uh, who were in Babylon, must return back to Israel and rebuild the temple of the Lord. But you need to understand that the temple of the Lord was one big rubbish heap. It was one big dump. And the work of rebuilding the temple that Solomon had built was a humongous job that would require superhuman effort. Now the people who are coming to rebuild it had been captives in Babylon. They were in captivity. So they were coming out of a background of what? Bondage. So a people who had been in bondage were now called to rebuild the temple of the Lord. I am here to tell you something. That even though you have been in captivity, even though there are areas of your life that have been captured by the demonic, just like uh, in this day, the word of the Lord came to Zerubbabel. You will build, you will build something that God will be able to dwell. You will build something in your life that God will be able to speak through to the generation. You will build something in your life that God will be able to manifest. What does it mean to build a temple? It means to build something that God can use. It means to build something that can host God. You see, you can have a system that cannot host God. But I'm here to tell you that right here in this ministry, Ministry. We are building a ministry that Jesus can take people from bondage to greatness. Not only take people, he can take nations. I remember when he spoke to me. He said, son, I don't just want to take people. I want to take nations. I want to take economies. I want to take governments. I said, I want to take what governments from bondage to greatness through what I'm doing here. So I need you to build something. I need you to, hold, to create something you know, according to my heavenly pattern 
that I can work through it. I'm here to prophesy to somebody that even as we cross over, there are Jerichos in front of you. Even as we cross over, there are the city of I in front of you. Even as we cross over, there is a building that must be built. There is a work that must be done. But I'm here to tell you that there is a grace. The same grace that came on Zerubbabel is here to come on somebody in the name of Jesus. Let's go to the beginning. Right to the beginning. Hallelujah. It says now. It says the angel. He says he was sleeping and an angel woke him up. And the angel said, what do you see? And he said, I saw a lampstand. <laughs> oh, can somebody tell me the lampstand? He said, he said, I saw what? A lampstand. Because guess what? You are supposed to be what? A lampstand. And you must take your lampstand. But the lampstand was where? In its location. I said the lampstand was where? In its location. The lampstand was not under a bushel. The lampstand was not in an obscure place. But the lampstand was where it was what? Supposed to be. I said the lampstand was what? Where it was supposed to be. See, I saw the lampstand and the lampstand was of solid gold. Oh Lord. With a bowl on top of it and seven lambs with seven pipes to the seven lambs. Now two olive trees abide. Now the thing about these olive trees, which was the mystery of this vision, is that the olive trees were connected to the lampstands. And they were connected to the lampstands via the pipes. That means the olive tree was supplying oil directly to the lampstands. That means there was no processing that was happening. You know, typically the olive would have to be harvested, then the olive would have to be crushed, then the oil extracted from the olive. But in this vision, the olive tree was connected to what? To the lamb stand through the pipes. So I'm here to tell you that in order for you to take territory when you cross over, there has to be a steady supply of the anointing. Because when you hear to do what has never been done before, when you have to do what is exceedingly abundantly, above all that you can ask or think, then you need to access what divine supply and the supply of the anointing. So I'm here to tell somebody, you're about to get connected to an olive tree. You're about to get connected to a flow of anointing, a continuous flow of anointing. So Zerubbabel, hallelujah, was told, this is how I'm going to get it done. This is how God is going to get it done. He's going to connect you to anointing. And then when he saw that, the angel asked him, ha, huh, he said, and the angel said, so I answered and spoke to the angel who spoke with me. Hallelujah. I said, what are these, my Lord? Then the angel who answered said, do you not know what these are? Because in the realm of the spirit, even though God has created a system for you, if you don't understand the system, you can access it. I said, if you don't understand, so the angel said, do you not know these? Because in the realm of the spirit, even though God has built something for you, if you don't understand it, if you don't know how it works, it will not what? help you. If you don't know how it works, that is why knowledge is so important. That is why understanding is so important. That is why wisdom is so important. Am I speaking to people who love wisdom? Am I speaking to people who love knowledge? Am I speaking to people who love insight? And then the angel said, do you not know what these are? And I said, no, my Lord. Then he said this. So when, he, when that appeared, it was a message God was giving Zerubbabel. But Zerubbabel did not get the message. How many things have appeared to you in the spirit that you do not understand what it is? I mean, he saw a contraption. He saw olive trees connected to seven golden pipes, connected to seven golden lampstands. That's what he saw. And he said, what is this? It was operating at a realm of mysteries that he did not, even though he was a man of God, he did not have the revelation. And then the angel said, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might. Some said, not by might. Now, might speaks in this context 
of numerical numbers, not by might. You see, when they talk about the might of an army, they speak of the might of the Russian army, the might of the Ukrainian army. You're talking about the numbers. So the Lord was telling him that this thing that I've given to you will not be done by numbers. He says, you can bring as many people as possible, but guess what? It will be too much for them. This is not something that numbers can get done. This is not something that you can pull people together to birth this supernatural thing that I want to do. What I want to build through you. Because remember, Zerubbabel was asked to what? to spearhead the building of the temple. Now in your life, even in this month of the Jordan miracle, what did God want Israel to do? He wanted Israel to build a nation and occupy Canaan and dominate it. So I don't know what you have been called to, but even as you cross over, there's something God wants you to build. That's why he said, I will build my church and the gates of hell would not what? If we prevail against it. Now, how do you mean? Jesus wants to build it through you. Jesus wants to build it what? Through you. So what uh, the angel told him, he said, it is not by might. And then he said, it's not by power. Power is speaking about your individual power. He says, there's nobody that is going to have the individual power to get this thing done. But it's going to be by my what? By my spirit. Now, I love this. Because the building will be done by the spirit, that means it's available to anyone who has access to the spirit. Whether you're tall, whether you're short, whether you're white, whether you're Chinese, whether you're wide or whether you're slim, I'm here to prophesy to you that as long as you have access to the flow of the anointing. So the anointing and the, your access to the anointing and the anointing flowing through you is what determines what you're going to be able to build. So it's not your education. I can tell you this conference is by the anointing. I said, so this is the system of the anointing. So the angel is revealing to him there is a system of the anointing where people do not do things by numbers. And people do not do things by natural power, but they do things by the Spirit. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm going to connect to by the Spirit. Oh boy, I'm going to connect to by the Spirit. And even though I was meditating this, and because it's by the Spirit, then this scripture came and I saw this in the Spirit. And the Lord told me to prophesy this to you. Oh, who are you? Oh, great mountain before DVA. Who are you? Oh, great mountain before you. Because you're not moving by the might. You're not moving by power. What you're moving by the anointing. The anointing created everything that exists. So you need to understand that the realm of the natural created the everything, the realm of the spirit created everything that you see. And the power in the realm of the spirit is what? The anointing. When the Bible says, and the spirit was moving on the face of the waters, the move of the spirit is described to us as the anointing. So the anointing created everything. So who are you? Great mountain before the anointed. You see, when the anointing takes over, I said, when the anointing gets over, your walls of Jericho will come down. I'm here to prophesy sight of somebody that the mountain that stands before you you see many of you you face the mountain and then there's some people the anointing they carry faces the mountain oh boy are you hearing what i'm saying you see the people you face the mountain it's not me who's taking people from bondage to greatness it's the anointing through me that's taking people from bondage to greatness i said it's the anointing through me that's doing it Oh, hallelujah. So you must now declare, who are you? Great mountain before Zerubbabel. You shall become a plain. I remember I had a huge mountain. I had a romantic mountain. It became a plain. How did it get solved? The anointing solved it. 
I said, the anointing located me a woman in where? Cave Shepherd. Hallelujah. I said the anointing located a woman for me in Cave Shepherd. You see, some of your problem, you, you, you are showing up. Me, the anointing found me somebody. Hey, hey. How did I get to Barbados? How did I get to Barbados to fulfill the call of God in Barbados? Very easy. I was praying in the spirit. Pray for three hours in the spirit. Then the spirit of the Lord fell upon me and said there's coming a recession in England. It shall last a very short time. Buy a house in the upper middle class area. Sell the house when the recession is over. Take the money and go to Barbados. Ah, that's why I came to Barbados. That's why I came to Barbados. With enough money not to work for a long time. Hallelujah. How did I get that? The time I was dealing with that, I had, I think I must have had less than 100 pounds in my account. But the anointing showed up. I said the anointing showed up. Is there somebody who is going to become a creature of the anointing? You see, you are too natural. You see, you actually, you see, you're too natural. Tell me, tell me, what natural entity in Barbados can do what we're doing in this conference? It's done by the anointing. I'm not doing it. It's the anointing. The anointing is bringing everyone together. I came to prophesy to you that if you will be somebody who is dominated by the anointing, some say dominated by the anointing, that the anointing will make every mountain that standing in your way to become a plain. Oh, who are you? Somebody say, who are you? Somebody say, who are you? I want you to stand up. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. I want you to call your name. Say, who are you? Great mountain before yeah, call your name. Now, let's bring forth. Let's go to the next scripture. He says, he shall bring forth the capstone. The capstone is what? That's the last stone on the temple. The capstone is the temple, is the stone that finishes the temple. He says, he shall bring forth, shouting what? Grace to it. That means he was a grace-made man. Ooh, is there a grace-made woman here? You see, there are grace-made men and grace-made women. You see, some of you, you believe in your natural. I don't. And Paul said, if anybody wants to believe in the natural, I can. Because I come from good stock. I can tell you, see this man here? I come from very good stock. But I don't believe in my natural. Because what my natural can produce, it cannot produce my destiny. Hey, because only the anointing can produce my destiny. I come from very good stock. The father of my father was the first PhD in the country. Whole country, first PhD. In 1945, my father drove to school in a car. 1945, he had a car that he rode himself, his dad's car, to school. My mother's father's father was the colonial secretary for the British. A whole area in the country of Sierra Leone is named after our surname. That is where I'm still doing inheritance. You know, like, like, like when they say... Uh, uh, let me the whole way like Sandy Lane. Okay, okay. There's a part. It is a high end area. That's after our surname. I come from good stock. I, my dad was in was in the who's who of Africa. Jeez. Hey, I come from good stock. But guess what? My stock cannot deliver my destiny. When when Satan met my stock. Satan whipped my stock. Hey, hey, hey. I said my stock could not stand in front of the demonic. When the demonic put on me two incurable conditions, my stock could not heal it. Oh boy. I said my stock could not heal it. It was the anointing that healed me. Therefore, I don't have confidence in my stock. I have confidence in the anointing. 
Yet some of you, my stock is of higher level than your stock. Yet you believe in your stock. Hey. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's what Paul was saying. Paul was saying, listen, if you have reason to boast, I have. Let me tell you my pedigree. But with my pedigree, I don't believe in it. Hey. I do not believe in my stock. Because my stock is insufficient. Oh, brakata saka desire. Oh. With my stock, I found myself in a romantic disaster. With the anointing, I found myself in a romantic in romantic bliss. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I said, it's by the somebody say by the anointing. My stock cannot defend me from the demonic. My stock did not heal me from asthma. But it's by the anointing. So it says by the anointing. So you have got to become somebody. Who? <laughs> Listen. I count my stock nothing. The anointing is a thousand times greater. A thousand times greater. Shikra Abbasai. Sabahai. Sevrahara. So don't say, oh, it's because the way Dr. Thomas said, no, hey, got nothing where I was raised up. The height I'm flying, that's not, uh, that is not by stock. That is by anointing. I have now passed my dad. Are <laughs> you with me? Is there somebody who understands what I'm saying? So do not believe. So I want you to shift. Some say I'm going to shift. Ooh. Is it by your might? Or is it by your power? You see, because Jericho cannot be taken by your might. The walls cannot be taken by your might. But ha, the walls can come down by the anointing. I said the walls can come down by the anointing. I said the walls can come down by the anointing. And I'm here to prophesy to somebody that hallelujah, before you right now, the plain, the mountain that stands in your way, the Jericho that stands in your way, if you make the switch, somebody say, I need to make the switch from my natural to the supernatural. From my natural to the supernatural. I'm going to flow in my supernatural me. Not in my natural me. Oh boy. You see, I do not have confidence in my natural me. You see, you need to understand this. A lot of you don't understand these equations in the spirit. I have seen my destiny. My natural me cannot take me there. I, you see, it, it, it's a mental understanding. I've made the calculations in my brain. My natural me cannot take me there. Ah, but Christ in me. Ooh. Oh, the anointing in me. <laughs> oh, that's a different ballgame. I said the anointing in me. The anointing in me, it will take me there. Are you hearing me? I said the anointing in me will take me there. Shaka this. Lava this. Lava this. Lava this. Somebody needs to be led by the anointing. Hey, just as how I was seated, just as how I was seated in Cape Shepherd, and the anointing came on me and led me to what I was looking for. The anointing needs to come on somebody and lead you to get some money. The anointing. Do you know how I started CLC? <laughs> I was lying on my car, lying on the floor. We see an opportunity. And an angel came and told me about CLC. He said, I'm here. He said, you're called to be the voice, a voice for Israel to the Caribbean. You must create an organization called 
Caribbean is a leadership coalition. And I will give it favor before governments. Do we have favor before governments? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Could my natural deliver that? Absolutely not. My natural can be big in Sierra Leone, but will not be big anywhere else. Ah, I feel this in my spirit so strong. I feel this so strong in my spirit. Say in the name of Jesus. Who are you? Great mountain. Before. Call your name. Oh, say you shall become a plain. Now think of the mountain. Think of the mountain. Say who are you? Great mountain. Before, call it. <laughs> Say, you shall become a plane. Oh my God. Begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Say, I switch to my supernatural me. I switch to Christ in me, the hope of glory. I switch to the anointing. I switch to the to the greater one inside of me. Sevra apakata go sovre gede geshe, lavra ba onamanda go se gede she, lovara ba satas, livre bede shish, avara ba sis, something gede gish. Hearing, 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 asavara sis. Arababasis, lava barabasis, ababasis, lava barasis, egata ta 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 ta, oh, egata baba baba, egata gahas, lava atasis, egata bahas, lava atabasis, lava barabasis, ababarabasis, break to hearing, break to hearing, break to hearing, zavra abasas, love revelations. Lava Akaba Bubarishish. Leesh. Wow. Jesus. Lava Atabasis. Love Revelishish. Lege Revestis. Lava Ak. Mighty Noah in this place. Mighty Noah in this place. Save Rebe Revestish. Hallelujah. I'm seeing this in the spirit. I'm supposed to release the anointing on at least three people and then I'll release it mass and then I'll pray for the sick and I'm seeing in the spirit that the Lord wants me to release a grace for breakthrough hearing you heard me share number one I accessed money to leave a country and move to another country comfortably. And when I came to Barbados, I took a holiday for three months because I'd worked for so long, I thought I needed to relax for, for, for this thing and spend almost every day at the beach. Zevre says, Hallelujah. Estevre Before now, I now switched to this new job. <laughs> That was, how did I access that? Breakthrough what? Hearing. I had never done real estate in my life. Now, so it's not in real estate. It's in the hearing. I then had breakthrough hearing for my spouse. I heard breakthrough hearing to start CLC. How do you mean? The contact to start CLC came from my brother. It was in a meeting when I went to Apostle Foy at his church. I met with Dr. Pepe and I met with Dr. Peter Morgan and we had a conversation and they, and they, they asked me to help them with something. From that help, God then spoke to me and CLC began. Now, how did I meet Apostle Foy? Myself and prophetess were praying one day. 
And when we were praying, I heard in my spirit, British Virgin Islands. I said, huh. And I, did, I went and I put it on the, I went British Virgin Islands and I put British Virgin Islands Church. I went there and the Lord said, I want to connect you with a guy. <laughs> Are you here with me? I want to connect you with somebody. So I went in, da, 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 da. And then as I looked, the Lord said, this is the one. Offered to do John Maxwell training for him. I said, that one. She says, that's the one. That's called what? Breakthrough hearing. So, somebody say, it's because you're a prophet. Hey, do you know how many break, broke prophets there exist? Prophet! I got nothing to do with the prophet. Hey! Do you know how many people who can prophesy? Who are in all types of situations? And they can prophesy? Ain't got nothing to do with that. It has to do with what? And a breakthrough hearing. So right now, I'm going to release that anointing. But there are three people. I don't know if you want that anointing. You see, you see, because you see, it's it's so not by might, not by my ability in real estate. Not by my ability in real estate. I would mean. Hey. Do you know, I me, I like the supernatural. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hi. Now, do you know if I had to wine and dine prophetess to get her, she's very expensive. How many of you know, know enough about prophetess? Prophetess has very expensive tastes. So if I was supposed to do it the natural method, it would be, it, I, I, I tell you, boy, my, my, my bank account would be severely depleted. <laughs> but how did I get prophetess? By whining and dining? By what? The anointing. The anoint. I was walking down Cave Shepherd like this. And prophetess saw me. And the angel that works with me went to prophetess and injected in her thoughts. What would it be like to marry that man? And as she saw me, she was filled with desire for me. <laughs> She's not here yet. <laughs> oh Lord. Without whining, no dining. Angels. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Bless the Lord. <laughs> she couldn't stop thinking about me <laughs> from that day. <laughs> oh, this is what the anointing. <laughs> Woo, Bless the Lord. <laughs> Bless the Lord. She's not here. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Amen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pray for three people. Come, my dear. Yeah.